fine water management and acid mine drainage has for many years been a major environmental challenge for South Africa's mining sector. In 2002, the first known incident of AMD flowing on, well, onto the surface from an abandoned gold mine in the Western Basin in the Krugersdorp area came to light. This is why the western, central and eastern bases of the uh, Vidvatisrand are currently the main focus of South Africa's acid mine drainage treatment needs. Now SAME Water is one of the companies that is actively involved in the treat treatment of acid mine drainage throughout Gauteng and beyond. And here to tell us a little bit more about this is the technical director of SAME Water, Cornelius de Swart. Good morning, Cornelius. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. It's a long time in the making. It, uh, it's always periodically in the, in the news. Uh, what's the latest? Where are we uh, when we talk about the threat of, of, of AMD? Well, I think what we've got to start with is just where does AMD come from? And um, I think for people to understand this, it's really water that comes into contact with pyrite, which is also commonly known as fool's gold. Yeah. And that's what causes the acidity to build up in the water. Now, I don't think that when the early people started to mine that they knew about this. So where are we today? We sit with a problem with, you know, 100 years worth of gold mining activities in the Gauteng area. And um, this level of water is rising inside of the underground levels. Now, mm. the, um, so are we winning the war against uh, AMD? I would, I would think so. The, the figures currently for the acid mine drainage project in Central Basin um, the level have dropped because of the efforts of that plant from 103 mm -hmm. meters have dropped now to 115. Now, it doesn't sound like a lot, yeah. just 15 meters. If you take it over the entire area of the central basin area, it is millions and millions of liters of water that's being treated. What are the immediate sort of threats to, to people, to communities in and around, in and around these, these uh, mining, mining areas? Um, immediately would be when this water actually surfaces. And now what we mean by surfaces is if it actually contaminates the upper levels of the water that we actually take from boreholes to yeah. drink. And um, it's definitely acidic in the sense of approximately 5 pH. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't really sustain biological life at that stage. Yeah. So we need about a 6.5 to still sustain biological life. So we're talking about... Um, wildlife environmental impacts of that case as well as sinkholes it's a definite uh, uh, another threat that we sit with yeah. in regards to surfacing acid mine drainage water is it repairable and what will it take and how much will it cost oh um, repairable I, I think it's a question uh, do I have the crystal ball Mm -hmm. um, I want to congratulate, you know, that um, the government have put some money aside and a plant was built in record time and we can see the results in the drop of the acid mine level. Yeah. Um, is it repairable? I, I don't think so. I think it's manageable and yeah. I think we can manage it. I mean, currently the idea is to take the water level down by several hundred meters um, and eventually I think the acidity will be less and less to the extent where we can leave it and not continue to treat it anymore. How does, one, how does one treat it? How does one reverse this process? Um, many technologies are tested, but the only proven technology at this stage that really works is for us to actually add quicklime to the acidic water. Adding quicklime to the acidic water brings the pH up from about 5 to 8.5. Yeah. And then when we do this, um, heavy metals, iron, that is currently so in solution in the acidic water, will then precipitate and fall out. And then in big tanks, we will correct that sludge and then we will take it to a place where it can be treated further or just dispose of safely. Um, we sit with a problem in the sense that it's mm. still salty water after we've cleaned it from its acidic values. And that um, salty or salinity needs to be removed by most common process currently is RO. Yeah. And that is very expensive. Um, although, you know, approximately 500 mm -hmm. tons worth of um, sludge gets disposed of um, and 80 tons of quicklime was added to the water per day. Are, are, we, starting, are we starting to change the way that we work a little bit and, and, and other parts of the country that are developing so, uh, similar problems? Can we uh, mitigate the, those, those, those problems? Um, it's really not the best question for me. 
um, I, you know, from an environmental stage uh, in regards to the mine planning to going forward, I am yeah. I'm very sure that the Department of, of Minerals is looking into um, mitigating efforts to make sure that mines that's currently in operation, you know, are responsible for an extended time period. Yeah. Um, but it's not the best question for me to answer. Well, I thank you for joining us. It's certainly very concerning. Uh, it's nice to know that uh, the massive efforts are underway to, to mitigate and to bring back some uh, of the areas around, uh, around the mines that have been affected. Cornelius de Swart, who's the technical director of SAME Water, thank you for joining us this morning. You're welcome.